Hello you are go back again to listen more about geothermal top of reservoir. Today we're going to talk about the top of reservoir and well data. Stay tuned! We have established in a previous video how subsurface scientists and engineers can be cool like a wizard. But peering deeper, if wizards have their crystal ball, what do subsurface scientists and engineers have to determine the actual top of reservoir? Estimating the actual top of reservoir before drilling can be done by inferring the base of conductive information derived from magnetotelluric or electromagnetic based inversion result. The base of conductive refers to the base of a low permeability zone, generally in the form of a spectrite clay cap in the geothermal system. However, uncertainties of the interpretation remain high until at least the top of reservoir is determined directly from the pressure temperature survey of the first well. In geothermal drilling, the actual top of reservoir information from subsurface inference could be confirmed from several good data, preferably the pressure temperature profile. Determining the top of reservoir specifically during exploration drilling is done to assist in setting production casing depth. The pressure temperature profile is the most favorable well data to confirm the actual top of reservoir of a geothermal reservoir. The pressure temperature static data is derived during drilling of wells, specifically during heating up post-drilling using temperature and pressure logging tools. The data is monitored over a period of time to understand the natural thermal state of the reservoir. The temperature profile indicates the convective zone by the linear temperature, while the pressure profile capable of showing the convective zone by the increase in pressure. The high pressure shows the recharge zone or upflow zone, and together will be indicating the top of reservoir within a well. The ca this capability have Stein Grimson in 2013 further establishes how the pressure temperature profile is the most reliable data used to confirm the actual top of the reservoir. Other types of well data that can be used to indicate the actual top of reservoir are drilling parameters such as loss circulation and mineralogy such as the presence of the first euhedral epidote or methylene blue analysis. Makuk in 2013 notes that the lost circulation refers to the loss of drilling fluid or cement slurry partially or completely to highly permeable zones, cavernous, and naturally or induced fractured formations. Lost circulation is caused by either poor drilling practices or natural factors that are associated with the type of formation that is being drilled to. The loss of circulation in geothermal reservoirs, particularly due to natural factors, may indicate intersecting fractures or permeable zones, which are commonly found in geothermal reservoirs. The first euhedral epidote, on the other hand, is found by observing the cutting circulated by drilling mud via microscope by a well site geologist. It can also be used to signify the high temperature and permeable zones, which is also commonly found in reservoir zones. Methylene blue is an organic dye that shows higher selectivity for adsorption by smectite clays. The dye also is absorbed by smectite components of mixed layer clays, but is largely unaffected by other, even electrically conductive, common clay minerals. This selectivity permits it to be used to estimate on semi quantitative basis the amount of smectite present in alteration mineral assemblages. Now that we have uncovered the secrets of how subsurface scientists and engineers in geothermal drillings prove the actual top of reservoir estimations using well data, our task does seem as daunting as wizards do. Would you agree to that? This is Jiwa, see you in the next video.